Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is May 7th, 2022. And as we are right here at the 74th birthday of Israel on IR5, on the Hebrew calendar, and it is also the 17th day of Ayar on the Enoch calendar. So we have a conjunction of Israel's birthday, Israel's 74th birthday, on the day that the flood begins, May 6th and 7th, 2022. And as we have been watching this day one thing I had shared with you previous was that the uh, 1290 days, as it says in Daniel 12:11, from the day of the abomination, there will be 1290 days. So the interesting thing about this is that if you go from May 6th and 7th, which is the day the flood started on the Enoch calendar, and you go forward 1290 days, it brings us to Chess Van 27, which is the day the flood ended according to Jewish tradition. Okay? So you have a connection between the, the beginning of the flood and the end of the flood, even though we're looking at two different calendars between the Enoch calendar and the Jewish tradition Hebrew calendar. The other thing that I had not mentioned previous to this, and someone brought this to my attention about a week or so ago um, in a comment, that 1,335 days before uh, May 6th and 7th was September 10th, 2018, uh, the Feast of Trumpets. The Feast of Trumpets of 2018, Yam Teruah, Tishri 1, Feast of Trumpets 2018, 1,335 days. Now, all of this looks really uh, interesting, very uh, possible, okay? But the other thing that I got to thinking about... And I'm, I'm thinking about this now because we're right here on May 6th, May 7th. We're still not over uh, their actual anniversary day, May 7th, which would be at sunset later tonight, Saturday evening. Uh, May 7th going into May 8th would be the end of IR5, would be the end of their 74th birthday. And so... I'm sitting here thinking about all of this and I'm wondering what is, you know, what could be another possibility within all of this. Now, the other thing that Daniel tells us that from the date of the abomination, there will be 1290 days. But then Revelation says that the woman is taken into the wilderness for 1260 days okay 1260 days so there there's a 30 day difference between the abomination happening 1290 days but then the woman being taken into uh, the uh, wilderness for only 1260 days so if we were to uh, to take into consideration the 30-day the difference, what would that look like? And it just got me thinking that 30 days exactly from Israel's 74th birthday, okay, is, is Pentecost, Shavuot. So, we're looking at today, 
we want it to be today. We don't want to be here another 30 days. Okay. But let us consider this uh, detail here. Okay, so let's, let's say we have a timeline that begins on the Feast of Trumpets in 2018. Number one, 2018 was the 70th year of Israel. And between their 70th birthday... Well, really, the, the, the highest watch began Feast of Trumpets 2017 with the Revelation 12 sign. Then we had Israel's birthday on May 14th, 2018. And then we had the Feast of Trumpets 2018 because the seven years were fulfilled. And now we have to wait for the Feast of Trumpets. So we've got the Feast of Trumpets of 2018 as a, as a high watch marker and what could be become the beginning of this of this timeline the beginning of the seven years okay the beginning of the seven years even though it was not the beginning of the great tribulation it was not the rapture of the church at the beginning of the seven years but the seven years began somewhere between 2017 and 2018 and the Revelation 12 sign and the uptick of all the signs and all the disasters and, and all the warnings and everything that was happening in the world, really 2017, 2018 uh, is very, very marked out as, you know, especially with the seven-year difference in the two great American eclipses between the Great American Eclipse and the Revelation 12 sign and then the, the the 70th birthday of Israel on May 14th, 2018. Now we come to the Feast of Trumpets in 2018. Okay, so let's say that's a, a beginning marker in our, in our seven-year period. So what do we have then? Okay, we've got, from Feast of Trumpets 2018, we've got 1,335 days to... Israel's 74th birthday, May 6th and 7th, 2022. We've got 1,335 days. This is also on the Enoch calendar. Ayar 17, the day the flood began. Then we've got 30 days more, which is the difference between the 1,290 and the 1,260 days. So we're fulfilling both of the 1,290 and the 1,260 days from Israel's 74th birthday. We've got 1,290 days to Chess Van 27, and then from Pentecost, Shavuot, on June 5th and 6th, 6, 2022, we've got the 1,260 days of the woman fleeing into the wilderness. Okay, so we've got... We've got the 1,335 days covered, we've got the 1,260 days covered, and we've got the 1,290 days covered. And the, the, the marker then is the 74th birthday of Israel as the beginning of the 1,290 days, but then there's a 30-day difference, and the 1,260 days begin on Pentecost, Shavuot, June 5th and June 6th, 2022. Now, this is the this is the thing, okay? And I am this is the this is the timeline I'm watching. This will be if we're still here tomorrow, okay? Because you know, we're this would be the best thing right here to be gone tonight. Okay? I mean, we're looking at what I've shared with you is the is you know, the end of the fig tree generation. We've got 70 years and we've got the four years. So we've got the 74th anniversary of Israel. But then the other part of the whole prophecy of Daniel is the 70 weeks are determined. And, and we've got the 70 weeks. And the connection to Pentecost, the Feast of Weeks. So it's the 70th plus the 4th plus coming to Pentecost. So it could be the exact day of their of their anniversary, of their birthday, celebration of their Independence Day on May 6th and 7th, or it could be 30 days, and there's a 30-day difference here, okay? So whether it's tonight or, to, you know, today or tonight, 
yet or there's a 30 day difference in this timeline and it's the difference between the 1290 and the 1260 days okay so I just wanted to share this with you that I believe that if we go past tonight which I'm still hopeful for tonight but as I'm the closer we get I'm just I'm just trying to consider where we are and what could be next and you know I'm not saying I have the answers and I have to be right everybody's got their own opinion and there's thousands of channels and what I don't want to do I don't want to come off by saying I know the day or the hour I mean I'm searching and we can all speculate we can all search we can all hope we can all consider and we can all share we're free to share what we are uh, feeling okay but what I do not want to come out and say this has to be the day and this is why you should listen to my channel okay I'm just one guy okay I'm just one voice I'm just one person I have a call from God I believe that I'm fulfilling my call from God but we will not know what that all means until <laughs> until it's over and then we'll know why we were called to do what we felt we were called to do you know and um, and so I feel like I, I've been called to search for this day the Lord gave me a sign with a date with an hour with a time <laughs> okay and uh, the sign came my sign came on the day and hour that God showed me the sign would come and this is the beginning of my journey that took place way back in December of 2012 and we're going on 10 years now that I continue to search continue to wait continue to hope I would have never imagined that from 2012 we'd still be here in 2022 my goodness but here we are so and uh, you know I I respect everybody's uh, right to consider and the very great possibility about May 14th, May 15th, May 16th. That's not my perspective as to why, you know, where, where I think we would go next. And so I'm, I'm not I'm gonna follow that line of thinking at this point. Okay, at this point, I think we have something very significant. I think we're coming up, Pentecost, okay? And I shared this earlier in a comment um, in my community section, and I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention. Now, the last statement that uh, Barack Obama made at his correspondence dinner on April 30th, 2016, his last statement, his closing line, drop the mic, okay? Drop the mic. This was Barack Obama's last statement. He didn't say it, but he did it. He dropped the mic. Two hands, two, two, two fingers to his lips, scouts honor, my promise, and he, Obama out, drop the mic. And this is very interesting that this also would apply to Pentecost of 2022. Sorry about that. And this was this would also apply to uh, Pentecost Shavuot on June sixth, two thousand twenty-two. Six, six, six. So is this going to be the final 
drop the mic moment just as Barack Obama said drop the mic six 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 okay so I just wanted to share all of these things with you I mean we're we're all weary we're all hoping we're all longing the sooner the better and you know, I had my reasons. I have my reasons. I'm watching Israel's 74th birthday. I think the fig tree generation is tied to it. We've got all of these other connections tied to it. It is a 30-day difference between May, May 6th and 7th to June 5th and June 6th, Shavuot. So... Is this the 30-day difference? Are we entering in? This is a this is a prophetic time now. If this is the time we are entering into, then we may be seeing now what is going to become the final and the true abomination of desolation that Jesus told us to look for. I mean, Jesus told us in Matthew 24, 15, when you see the abomination of desolation, according to the prophet Daniel. Now, many people say he was talking to the Jews. Was, was, was Jesus talking to the Jews? He brought his own disciples up to the mountain, alone, alone apart. He was not talking to the multitudes. He was not talking to, public, to the public. He was talking to his disciples. In Matthew chapter 24, he was talking to his disciples. Why do people always say that Jesus was talking to the Jews? That doesn't apply to us. That's ridiculous. Jesus told them what to look for when you see the abomination of desolation according to the prophet Daniel. And then Daniel tells us that from the abomination there will be 1,290 days. And in Revelation it's told us that the woman flees for 1,260 days. So is there a 30-day difference between the two? And now is this the 30-day time that is starting right now? 30 days. See, we've got a timeline that fits it. It starts at the Feast of Trumpets. 1,335 days, beginning the 1,290 days, 30 more days, starting the 1,260 days, which would be the rapture of the church on Pentecost, Shavuot, okay? So, we, we don't know yet. We won't know for sure until that day comes, right? Until it happens, we're like, wow. Maybe we, maybe we understood something. Maybe we were close. Maybe we were like, I think it could be Pentecost. And then when it happens, it's like, wow, I, I was able to understand at least something. <laughs> you know, there's a reason why we've come to this point. I mean, there's, God has, God is not wrong in, in the way he's given us the prophecies. We've been wrong in the way we're interpreting them. And that's why we have to, continually go back to the drawing board, continually search. You know, we're not trying to change our story and where we've been. I mean, we're, there's a reason why what we were thinking in the past did not happen. Now we continue on and we continue to search. So that's all I have to say. I'm going to close now, but we were hope, you know, we're hoping for today yesterday, tonight, but if not, we've got a 30-day difference between here and Pentecost, and this could be the time that is prophetically marked, and this is what I would just hope we could all consider, and either way, be ready. If, if we're still here after the blood moon and after Israel's 74th birthday on the Gregorian calendar, that Obviously, I think Pentecost is going to be on everybody's radar anyway if we go past the blood moon. So this would be the next watch time. We've got the May 14th and we've got May 16th and we've got this whole next few days that everybody's 
really hoping for, and that's fine. But if we go past that, June 6th is obviously the next uh, the next watch time. So if, uh, you know, I just wanted to share this. I hope this is not discouraging to anyone. I hope it is a blessing to everyone. And I pray you are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.